In this video, I'm going to take you through how to stake your Polkadot DOT tokens with Ledger. And for more information on Polkadot or Ledger, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. If you've currently got Polkadot's DOT tokens sitting idle on an exchange or in a wallet, you may be interested to hear that you can earn rewards through staking. And there's a few different ways that you can stake these, which include using exchanges such as Kraken or Binance. But if you'd prefer the safety of storing your tokens in a hardware wallet and away from an exchange, you can earn rewards directly within Ledger Live. Staking allows you to earn interest from your DOT tokens, where essentially a user holds funds in a crypto wallet to support the operations of a blockchain network. And in return, holders are rewarded for their contribution. Polkadot uses a nominated proof of stake protocol to secure its network. And DOT holders who want to stake their assets can do this as a validator, which will require running a node 24 7. Or they can do this by nominating a validator and becoming a nominator. And Polkadot validators offer an average return of 10%. However, this rate will vary depending on the amount of the stake, the number of validators and their commission. With Ledger, there's also a number of days to take into account before you can unbond, plus some recommended staking amounts, which I'm going to take you through during the walkthrough. And if you don't already have a Ledger, they often run offers which may change depending on the time that you're watching this video. But I'll always keep you up to date with the latest offers on my website everybithelps.co.uk. So let's head across to Ledger Live and go to the Manager, where you'll need to allow Ledger Manager. And this is where you can search for your apps that you'd like to install onto your Ledger device. Today, I'm using a Ledger Nano X. However, if you're using a Nano S, there will be less space available on your device so you may need to delete some existing apps to be able to install Polkadot. But don't worry, as this won't delete your crypto, it simply just removes the app from the device. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the Polkadot app. And once that's installed, you'll be prompted to manage your account. You'll then be prompted to add your Polkadot account. Click on to continue and you'll need to authorize the Polkadot app on your ledger. And it will take a few seconds for that to synchronize. Add account, and then done. Then once you have your Polkadot account, you'll need to transfer your DOT tokens across to your ledger. So if we head across to the left and choose receive, from the drop down, you can then type in Polkadot and it'll come up with the account that we've just created. Then select continue. This will then give you the address and the QR code that you need to use for receiving funds. And you'll want to confirm the address matches that on your ledger device. So let's take a look and see where we can purchase DOT tokens. If we head across to CoinMarketCap and under the Markets tab, you can see that you can purchase DOT on some of the most popular exchanges such as Binance, Huobi and Kraken. And I do have another tutorial where I show you how to stake your DOT on Kraken, which I'll put in the summary below in case you want to check that out. Now, I don't have any crypto currently sat on Binance. However, I can also trade using Crypto.com exchange where I do. And again, I'll put a sign up offer for them below. So I've purchased some DOT tokens here, which I'm going to withdraw to my ledger device. So I'll withdraw and select external wallet address. And it's asking me to add the withdrawal address. So I'll head back to my Ledger Live and copy the address. And paste that address to the whitelist on crypto.com. Now I'm going to be withdrawing about $1,000 of the DOT token. And this is going to cost me 0.1 DOT, which is roughly around $3.50. And I've also checked out the withdrawal fees over on Binance too, and these are the same at 0.1 DOT. So if I head back to Ledger Live now, you can see that I've got nearly 27 DOT appearing 
which I can now stake. So if you go to your account and Polkadot, you'll see this screen. And in the top right, you'll see Earn Rewards, Send and Receive. I'm going to go ahead and click Earn Rewards. And it will come up with some important information here, stating that you'll earn rewards by bonding your assets and then nominating your validators. You'll see ownership of bonded assets. You'll nominate using your ledger device. And a really important notice here is that assets will only be available again after 28 days after unbonding. At the bottom, there's a link to how nomination works. And Ledger do give you an overview of how Polkadot bonding works here. Plus it states that it's recommended by the Polkadot team to stake 200 DOT. And this is approximate and still can vary. So I'll head back and go ahead and continue. And this is where you'll bond your tokens. And remember that you'll also need some DOT to pay for the fees. As I mentioned in the notes from Ledger, it says they recommend staking 200 DOT and I only have 27. So I need around $8,000 to tie up and I don't want to do that at the moment. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and bond one DOT so that I can show you the process. Once that's all gone through, you'll need to nominate the validators. And there's plenty to choose from from here. I'm going to pick two random ones, but you can nominate up to 16. However, you should carefully select your validators as the rewards that you'll receive will depend on them. If they don't behave properly, they will get slashed and you will lose DOT as well. Only a certain number of validators at a time can participate in the consensus and be nominated. This process is called election and happens every era, which is about 24 hours on Polkadot. So once you've nominated your validator by clicking onto the tick boxes, and you'll be charged a network fee in here and just need to authorize that on your ledger. And I've now successfully nominated my validators and can view the details. Now, if you want to then unbond your DOT tokens, you can go back to your Polkadot account screen, choose to manage assets at the top of the screen. And under here, you can bond more, you can unbond, nominate, or clear nominations. I'm just going to show you how to unbond. And I'll unbond my one DOT token, so if I click onto Max, it will then show me my network fee. Plus they also highlight that it will be withdrawn after the 28 day unbonding period. So let's continue, where I'll then need to authorise that on my ledger. And my unbond is now all done and successful, and hopefully I'll then have that one DOT token back in my ledger within 28 days. Now, if all this seems complicated or you don't have the 200 to stake or lock up for 28 days, you can check out my other videos that will hopefully give you an alternative to using a ledger. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.